let's talk about how the body works, especially when it comes to aging. It's just inevitable for all of us. So what happens to the skin over time? And <laughs> look how they're getting a close-up mm -hmm. of me because they know how much I talk about <laughs> wrinkles. What happens? Estrogen? Yes. So actually, there's a lot of contributing factors. If we're talking about the aging process, I say there's two major arms, okay? And we have to understand the differences. So the first thing that happens, I say when we're born until our early 20s, we build collagen and elastin, and those are things that kind of create like scaffolding to the roof, is my analogy. It's structural support, okay? And gravity's constantly depleting it. So after our 20s, we're no longer producing that naturally. You can't take supplements, it just doesn't work. But we can make it, but it's only in response to an injury that our body will start producing these collagen and fibers so that will help address the skin sagging the fine lines and wrinkles and all those things with these procedures okay um, in my field there's a whole array of devices and treatments that will generate these controlled injuries but depending on what is bothering you and what's concerning you there's variability okay so the difference is where the depth of the injury is happening will do different things more superficial one millimeter you're going to target your fine lines wrinkles pigmentation the deeper you go there's treatments that can actually burn and cause an injury at like four and a half millimeters deep three millimeters and that causing collagen on different planes can actually cause tissue tightening, okay? So that's the one aspect, and people have to know that because I don't think that they should overcompensate filling to compensate for that loss. So the second thing that happens is that our bones start dissolving, just like in the body, and the skull changes as well, and the eye sockets get bigger, the cheekbones get thinner, and volume shifts and falls forward. So that can be addressed with these fillers that they call just to replace that bony structural loss. Um, and I always say, if you're addressing both of these issues, well, it comes down to physics. If we're weakening the chemical bonds, that, that is collagen, um, and we're losing that structure within the skin, well, gravity's gonna pull stronger. So if we address it at a younger age, we can kind of slow the accelerated process and age gracefully so we can look natural.